Good morning, brothers and sisters. Nathaniel, rapture watchers here for Jesus and the day that he's coming, and he is coming very soon to take us home, and we are going to be home together forever. And that day is approaching very, very soon, brothers and sisters, and I am going to be on here every single day to remind you that Jesus loves you, and the time is short. Is so short, and it literally could be any moment, any day, another month, four months. I don't see it being a year, but if it is, so be it. We're still here, and then we'll even be closer. But I don't look that far ahead. What I am looking at, like you guys are, is in April. But I see us going home before that. I, that's just my opinion. But April, the eclipse, April 8th. There's so many other brothers and sisters that covered so much good on that. And uh, it is just truly amazing. But if you are out there and you are lost and you do not have Jesus and you're living your own way and you're confused, give up your way to go Yahweh. Because there's the Son of God, also God in the flesh, that died for all of your sins, past, present, future, First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And once you believe in that, that he died and he rose in three days and his blood paid for all sin, past, present, future, you will be saved. And you are going home. And you will have his Holy Spirit. You go from your living your way to living his way. And you start living for him every single day. And all believers that have the Holy Spirit are going home. Alright, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to read. Here's today's uh, Bible scripture today. And then we're going to read more Psalms. And then we're going to pray. Like we always do. I had to make this a little early because uh, my neighbors, they have a, my neighbors on the right of me, down this way. They have a brand new baby, so I don't want to wake them up in there. Uh, oh, look at Whiskers. There he goes. He wanted out all night last night. And he doesn't let... <laughs> you know how he is. I'm going to have to let him in in a second. But he's going to have to wait because this is more important. But yeah, I, I respect my neighbors. I love them. And they're really... It's really amazing. The ones on the right of me are very awesome. And they are believers in Jesus Christ. Praise God for that. The one on the left of me, I think you guys know, he believes in paganism, and his name is Ron. And if you all want to lift him up in prayer, that would be great. I've been praying for him. Oh, and also, if you guys could remember to pray for my sister, Lacey. She's going through some major things, and she's putting my dad through a lot of stuff, and my dad is truly amazing man. Truly amazing. And uh, if you could just lift her up in prayer, that would be great. Um, she's definitely living her way when she should be living every single day for Jesus' way. And the time is so short that... And she won't listen to me. So, her name is Lacey. Like I said, I'd highly appreciate it. And you know what? Well, when I pray for people, I put them all in one prayer. But I've been praying for her also on the side. I highly appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Okay. Let's read this out of Psalms. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. And that's Psalms 6620. And now we're going to go into Psalms 32. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not in iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. 
My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from my trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye, mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held and with bit a bridle and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in hearts. Oh, praise God. Praise God. We are upright in heart, brothers and sisters. We have the heart and the mind of J.C. living in us. Thank you, Father God, for being here with us today. It's another day we can spend for him, brothers and sisters. I literally just took communion before I made this um, video. I try to do it every day, but sometimes I forget. I'm just being real. I took communion last weekend with Brother Aaron and um, also Brother Randy. They both do it, and that was really cool. Well, Brother Randy did it one time. I don't know if he's going to do it again, but that was truly, that this, it was just awesome. It says in the Bible we're supposed to do that, really, and we're, we're remembering what he did for us on that uh at the supper and when you take the drink and the the cracker or whatever it don't matter what it is but you remember him and that's a beautiful thing so you guys are awesome brothers and sisters beloved beautiful brothers and sisters remember that it's okay that we walk in confidence uh, of ourselves in Jesus, right? Amen. And we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray. We are another day closer, and you guys, it is so close. Jesus is taking us home. I wonder. I want to add in real quick. I said this before, but I had this dream a little bit ago. Uh, I don't know if it was a couple weeks. I think a couple weeks back. But. <laughs> It's like God is showing me how close. He's showing us all how close we are. My mother has been passed away for it, for a long time, 2013. Um, and also this little dog that was one of my favorite ones. It was a black Pomeranian. <laughs> well, I had a dream that they were right in front of me. And I closed my eyes in the dream. And I was getting ready to, I was like reaching out to grab them. <laughs> and then I woke up. So, I mean, come on. How close are we? And I just, that dream just popped up in my memory heavy again um, last night. So I was like, I'm going to share that again because I think he wants me to, to remind you guys how close we are. This thing going on in Texas, everything. Oh man, we're so close. And might have to try Brother Aaron's pizza with uh, pineapple. I've never had that before, but, you know, it actually sounded good yesterday. I was blessed. My dad brought us over a pizza, and oh, he's such an awesome man, and I lift him up because he's, he's been like five parents, you know, ever since when my mom did pass away, and I, he didn't have to be there, you know, and he was he's always been there in my life. And I just look, he, he has the Holy Spirit in him, man, and I guarantee my mom's smiling down on him, and she's, and, and our Father in Heaven smiling down on him because he's a, he's doing way more than, it, just amazing, amazing. I just want to lift you up, Dad, if you see this, I love you. But, 
let's say it, let's go into prayer. Okay, brothers and sisters? And like I said, if you're lost, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died for all your sin, and once you are saved, you're going to screw up. That doesn't mean that you're being perfect every day. That's another lie from the devil. So it says in the Bible, if you uh, think you're not sinning, you're well, you're sinning already. <laughs> So don't forget that. It's not about walking perfect every single day. It's about walking with Jesus. And you still slip up sometimes, but it's okay. God's grace is amazing and sufficient. All right, brothers and sisters, let's pray. And i got to go let Whiskers in because he's about to box every cat out there. <laughs> Father God, thank you for this beautiful day. It's another day we get to spend with you. Another day we get to lift you up in praise. Another day we get to pray for our brothers and sisters. And we do that right now. We pray for the whole body of, cross, uh, of Christ. By Jesus Christ's stripes we are healed. And we pray for healing in the whole body of Jesus Christ. We pray for extra strength and always wisdom of you. We pray for our neighbors. And we pray for our family members that are lost. We pray that they are lifted up and saved. I pray for my sister Lacey and my neighbor Ron. And I pray for all the lost and all of the Jewish brothers and sisters for the scales to be wiped off their eyes and they do not believe the lie that the coming Antichrist is Jesus because it is not the truth. Our Jesus, you are coming to save us and take us home. Thank you, Father God, for all the rapture dreams and everything that you give us, all your love, and always your beautiful sword. No weapon shall prosper against this body of Christ. No sick, sickness shall prosper against us. We pray. We praise you. And we pray for all the lost to be saved. We pray for the enemy's plans to get canceled against us. We pray that we have the strength in you, Jesus, to keep the enemy underneath our feet. Always. And we pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, beautiful family. I love you guys. Actually, if you want, you walk out with me, okay? Let's go see how Whiskers is doing. There you go. I gotta come out here and beat them. I love you, brothers and sisters. You have a beautiful day today. Keep looking up because Jesus is coming to take us home. Love you, family.